kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up. And we are underway now from Santa Clara. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard <laughs> Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a start they can live with. 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game. Well, early on, there's a good one. There is, and for guys on defense, they've got to remember the old adage. You've got to meet force with force. And if you don't, you get run over, as they did on that last play. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And space tough to come by there as he'll give maybe a yard to the 37. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? So from the 37, here's a second and nine. On the counter, here's Jones. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's third and seven. Now Love. Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense. out. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing on second and long. Purdy, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Back to throw, Purdy. and it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. 
Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now we'll get a timeout as they tend to an injured player, and looks like that's their receiver, Christian Watson. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They'll go again to Jones. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play action this time with Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. It's second and inches at the 41-yard line. We're scoreless after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with second down and less than a yard. Love from the gun. A short throw to Musgrave. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Love going to give this one to Jones. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Second down, another shot for Jones. And three yards there takes him to the 45. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, Love. And this pass broken up. But the contact well in time there. And now fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Daniel Whelan now. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter as they come up on first and 10. Yeah. 
They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Purdy looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Purdy. And yeah, that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty, and that forces a fourth down situation. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. First and ten, Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Green Bay. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. Call it no game there on the first down play. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not, and dropped him for no gain. Throwing, love. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Yeah. 
So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Going back to Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And they are going to have a first down. And they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Again, it's Love. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. Here's Love. And he wisely will throw that one away. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. And the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Love now. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And his kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Final play of the half, Purdy. It got his man, complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just a lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Cincinnati's offense is seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Purdy bootlegging it. Connects with Kittle underneath. So the completion good for six yards. And yeah, that will bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 21, here's second and four. The throwing here, Purdy. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Complete as well. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. Oh, the return is Reed. And just a net of 31 here, 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. to throw now. Here's Love. Throwing left side and Watson has it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Love, they go play action now. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the Niners' 27-yard line. Play fake. Here's Love. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Jones. Will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Anders Carlson now for the point after. 
It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Just a four play drive that time. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. For the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big game, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 35, back to work on second and four. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Purdy. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Holding offense. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not down. to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. Purdy with it on third and long. That is caught, and he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all, and you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Purdy, throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. 
What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Jake Moody now for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off by a receiving touchdown from Christian McCaffrey. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. Nifty move. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would we'll likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Jones. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This now a third and four. Now Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Thirty eight yard line, second and eleven. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. 
And he has a Packer first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zero.